Back Like We Never Left BDA and this chapter of Fairy Tale was okay, but I guess it was still disappointing at the same time. It was basically Natsu versus Fodder. The whole thing was Natsu defeating Fodder. I mean, at the beginning, they had the team worrying about Natsu, especially great because he was kind of critical of Natsu, but then he was shown to be kind of worried about Natsu as well because he's saying to Urza, you put too much faith in him. And he came off as like a, a jealous boyfriend or something when Urza was like, I believe in Natsu. It's like, whoa, great, are, are you okay, bro? What's going on there? But for the most part, Natsu versus Fodder, I mean, the stuff he was able to do was impressive. I mean, he altered the landscape with one move, and he did this raging fire god flame thing move. Yeah, I mean, this chapter didn't really move me. It, it didn't really progress the story that much. I mean, now the Fodder is defeated, but woohoo, Fodder defeated, yeah. So that that's pretty much it, honestly. I could just end the review here, but let's... Let's talk about Zeref finally coming to Natsu and saying I can't wait to see you. And Natsu has no idea what Zeref means by that. And Natsu is about to take his bandages off to reveal his trump card right away before the war has really even started because the real guys haven't shown up yet. So yay. Honestly, there's nothing else I can say about this chapter. That's what happened. Natsu, we saw last chapter, he rushed to face Zeref. And he met up with this black carpet of fodder, and he decimated a fodder, which we expect. The fairy tale team was worried about him. Happy is with him, and of course they mentioned a mat that Natsu burned to a crisp back then. And it's like, okay, you bring some comedy into this tense situation, and it's like it kind of ruins the mood. I think. I mean, Hero does this all the time, where it's like he throws in comedy in the at the most inopportune times and it kind of ruins the moment. Sometimes it's done well because it gives you a quick chuckle in the middle of a situation but in this case I was like not needed. Not necessary. It's kind of like that friend that you have that always makes an inappropriate joke at the wrong time. Sometimes their friend comes in at the right time but most of the time it's just like no. Meh. That's how I feel about this chapter. It's just meh, and I'm, I'm ready for the next chapter because we should see the trump card unless they go into a whole dialogue, which I do expect because, you know, Zerf speaks in parables. So, uh, yeah. But let, let me know what you thought about the episode, though. I thought it was meh. It was, it was okay. Nothing to clamor about. Not even live reaction worthy. Not even close. But yeah, I, I, let me know what you thought. Do you think this chapter was... Underwhelming to say the least, or did you naturally enjoy it because it's fairy tale? Well, yeah, let me know what you think. Like it if you did, subscribe, that'd be dope. Have a good day, people.